Recently, a document from a banking giant surfaced and the subject matter of it might shock you. They put out a survey and got retailer feedback from approximately 85,000 stores in regards to how a FDA flavor ban would affect the industry. And when asked what they think will happen if a federal ban was put in place, two words, black market. Most see it encouraging black market activity and a return to combustible cigs. It will create a black market. It will not significantly reduce usage of youth on e-cigs. In a word, black market. I think the black market will be the biggest winner. Too many people know how to make flavors. In many cases, back to combustion and also black market. The majority of e-cig consumers will just buy them from unregulated venues or sources. Back to cigarettes or to the underground sales economy. A black market does not discourage youth vaping. By taking the control out of honest businesses and putting it into the streets, we run the risk of spreading black market activity, not banning it. The black market does not worry about being compliant, nor does it have any ethics. The black market doesn't conform to local laws, has no industry standards, and is only concerned about profits, no matter how many lives it destroys. So, who really benefits from a flavor ban? Big Tobacco. They will go back to smoking. It will either go back to combustibles or move over to tobacco variants. 29% of retailers believe that the volume will go back to combustible cigs. Prohibition has been tried before and has shown that it has no effect on stopping people from getting what they want. We need sensible regulations, not prohibition.